Hi, I'm Pam, and welcome back to my channel. During one of my visits to Delaware to visit family, my family and I went antiquing, which of course is one of my favorite activities of all time. And in one particular shop, I was immediately drawn to these prints of sketches by Marjorie C. Bates. The top one is titled George Square, Glasgow, and the bottom is the Abbey Whitby, which is in North Yorkshire, England. I didn't think much about them at the time, except that I found them to be lovely and I wanted to hang them in my home. Recently, however, I found myself to be a little bit curious to know more about the artist. So I looked her up and I was very pleased to discover that Marjorie Christine Bates was a rather accomplished artist. She was born in Melbourne, Derbyshire in 1886 to parents George and Emily Bates. Her father was a lace merchant who made a considerable fortune manufacturing mosquito netting of all things and the family eventually moved to Wilford near Nottingham to a house called The Grange. Marjorie's artwork sold well, but she was also able to live comfortably as a result of her father's fortune. Marjorie studied at the Nottingham School of Art from 1902 to 1913, as well as under Jean-Paul Lorenz in Paris. While most of her life was spent in Nottingham, she traveled all over England and the continent, producing a prolific amount of work. Common subjects for her were cottages and churches, which were often reproduced as greeting cards, calendars, and book illustrations, as well as framed prints, like the ones I have. The prints are often confused as originals, perhaps due to the handwritten descriptions and signatures at the bottom. She exhibited her work at the Royal Academy between 1910 and 1934, as well as the Paris Salon and Nottingham Castle, where some of her work remains today, and she was a member of the Nottingham Society of Artists and the Pastel Society. Most of Marjorie's paintings are watercolors or pastels, and they're comprised of many subjects, including landscapes, architecture, street scenes, portraits, and garden scenes. She joined the Red Cross during the First World War and served as a nurse in Malta. Her fiancé died during the war and she ultimately never married, but she helped to look after her sister's children after her sister's marriage failed. Marjorie Bates passed away on December 20th, 1962 in Cottesy, Norfolk at the age of 76. Upon her death, her estate was valued at 6,836 pounds, worth approximately 147,000 pounds in 2024. I love history, and I find it really exciting to discover the history that's behind my cherished possessions right here in my own home. Why not take a look around your home and see what you can discover about some of your cherished possessions? Thank you, as always, for joining me to explore and appreciate everything that is connected to living a vintage lifestyle. I really look forward to your comments. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.